okay hello guys welcome to my fourth you know uh, video or on uh, building a blog using google app engine um you see earlier on i showed you how to create handlers and we created an about page you know where you can just visit it and see um you can see what you know what other you know what the website is all about you can add more pages if you want but you know that's good enough for now now though I want to show you something really important let's say you have an error that you cannot tell where the error is coming from right and you you know stretch st you're stressing up and you scratching your head and all that the easiest way to you know make it easy to locate your, uh, your errors is to use the logs button see the log button actually logs everything that is going on in your uh, in your server and all the requests and stuff like that this is how it looks like so all you need to do is go to your google app lo engine launcher and click logs and you will get to uh to you know the information there that could help you find the, the error now let's come back to the uh you know the main purpose of what a blog actually does a blog normally you know you can build it as simple as a uh, showing just a text like title and the content or you can go pro and add so many other features you know add twitter sharing buttons and all that facebook and everything but for now though it is good to start small so that's where we're going to start so the smartest thing to do in every blogging platform you need to have a form that you use to like you know create your posts so to create a post you create a form first and then let's say you have a section you know an input area that you know takes in text for the title and you also have another text area a text area for content and then you also obviously have a submit button right and uh, if you noticed here I've already included a footer for my uh, my my website so <laughs> you can add yours too anyway the most important thing to notice here is the subject or the name property okay the name property is very important because you will need it in the main part in you know main dot part file pi file because you can get only the you can get the value of this input area only through the name property so you just have to say um, you name it call whatever you want but it is always smart to make in to give a name that makes sense so because we are saying subject here we call it subject and we because we are referring referring to content here we name it content so when someone submits stuff you know it depends on where you want to show it but for now we will you know obviously show it on the window and then we can improve on it later on okay as time goes by so inside this home handler we create a post method okay this post method just sounds like you know the post method that we have in the form okay it should be really sensible as of now so we just create a variable called subject and then in order to get the value of subject okay or the title really you just say self dot request dot get the same the same thing applies to content self dot request dot get content you just pass in the content and subject and then within that post method we just say self dot write subject and then self dot write you know break just space there or you can even you know say um in fact i'm going to change this to an horizontal line just to make it look beautiful a little bit and then self dot write content and that's it right that is all we need for now so the best thing to do now is to go to our uh, application and run it and see what happens when we submit uh, the data okay so browse and there we have it okay so we have our home page here has a you know a text area and a form field input so let's say hello world uh, our first post sorry um, and then content is something like hello there you are and thanks for visiting right please remember remember to save the environment <laughs> uh, okay 
Okay, let's pause this and see what happens. Oh, bam! Huh? Isn't that cool? So, we now have a title saying yellow wire post and then the text area, right? And that is the, you know, the essence of it. That is the simplest thing we can do. And I, I hope you see the point here, though, because what we are doing is just getting the data submitted by the users and displaying it on the, on the, on the browser. We can do more, more than this. We will go ahead and improve on this later on in the next video and see, you know, how we can validate data to avoid people submitting nothing, you know, or bad, bad data and stuff like that. And we might, you know, have to use uh, something called uh, regular expressions. So that's it for now. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Remember to subscribe, please.